A former San Diego weather anchor who became a Hollywood legend has died. Welcome back, I'm Marcella Lee. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. Raquel Welch's agent confirms she died today in Los Angeles. Welch was raised in San Diego and for a brief time she worked here at CBS 8. Steve Price takes a look back at her career. Before she became one of Hollywood's first sex symbols, Raquel Welch was a La Jolla High cheerleader, fairest of the fair, and for several months in 1960, a weather lady here on CBS 8. Eight years later, she talked with Sun Up San Diego host Bob Mills about growing up here. I had a wonderful dancing teacher who taught me ballet uh, for years and years by the name of Irene Isham Clark, who I imagine is still in La Jolla giving classes. And, in, the stu in some studio there. In addition to appearing in dozens of films, she recorded an album and acted on Broadway. She was truly a sought after superstar. Raquel Welsh was just one of a host of international screen personalities who were there to enjoy it. She also wrote a book and in 2010, while she was promoting it, she visited our Larry Himmel in the Weather Center. I mean, they used to have just a glass map and I used to stand behind the glass and write the numbers. You know your stuff. Tell me what the temperature is in La Jolla. I do. Oh, I don't have my glasses. I can't see that far. Well, what, what, well you know, it's it's like somebody's age. Uh, like yeah. a, oh, oh, yes, that's right. It's my age. 69 degrees. Ow! Welch was married four times, had two children, and was named by Playboy magazine as one of the sexiest female stars of the 20th century. But here in San Diego, she'll always be remembered as the smart and talented hometown girl who made it big. Tell me what the glorious salary was. Oh, seven dollars and fifty cents. It's now eight fifty, so you know that the <laughs> things have changed quite a bit. Welch's agent says she died Wednesday after a brief illness. She was eighty-two years old. Steve Price, CBS Eight. And she seemed ageless. When she came she with, really with Larry. Did. She was sixty-nine. She just looked spectacular and had so much energy, and obviously still had a, a lot to say. Yeah, and I remember when she came, and she was just so humble and full of grace, visiting uh, the station that she once called home. The station was buzzing uh, at it that sure point. Was. A big it loss. Sure was.